Welcome back guys. All right, we're gonna run through another tutorial series for DCS, but more focused on the mission editor side of things. So making missions is, can be pretty tedious and technical. Uh, there's not a great deal of simple mission editor uh, tutorials that I've found. So I'm gonna try my best to make a series that is suited for someone as stupid as me. Because <laughs> Man, if I can figure this out, you guys can. So we're going to start off bare bones basic on how to spawn in an aircraft so that you can fly around and have a muck around in, the, in an actual map. So when you spawn, or sorry, when you load up DCS, you're going to come down here to Mission Editor. Click on that. It's going to load. And for some reason, let's go new. So when you first load in, you're going to get this screen here come up. Okay, so you can choose your map. So if you've only got the uh, Caucasus map, You'll only have one map to choose, I'm pretty sure. You might be able to choose other ones, I'm not sure. But they're the maps that I have. Okay, so I've got the Nevada, Normandy, and Persian Gulf as well. We're going to stick with Caucasus, just because. Uh, with your coalitions, you can chop and change if you want a certain aircraft or certain country to be on red for or blue for, or neutral. How about it? Go hard. So it's going to press OK, and here we go. So this is the mission editor. So what we're gonna worry about here is this little guy, add or modify airplane group. Click on that, and it's gonna come over to our other tab on the right hand side here. And we've got some options. So we are, like I said, just gonna go through how to put an aircraft that you can fly, you can spawn in on the mission editor and have a bit of a play around and get used to the aircraft without being on a multiplayer server, without being in a mission, you can just fly around nothing to worry about except for uh, doing what you got to do so when you come over to this side so you're going to click on the type aircraft type anything in yellow and remember this is july 2020 this is how the mission editor looks as of now so this may change at some point okay but at the moment anything that's yellow is a module that you can fly because you've paid for it you own it okay if it doesn't have a yellow uh, highlighter highlight you can't fly it in the mission editor or you can't fly it in a mission because you don't own the module. Some of them you can't fly at all. Okay, like the, uh, let's go, C-130. That's not an actual aircraft module that you can fly. So that's an AI aircraft only. Uh, but if you, for example, the Kristen Eagle, that is an actual DCS module. I don't own it, so therefore I can't fly it. I can still spawn it in, but I will not be able to use it as a uh, an aircraft to fly around, if that makes sense. So we're going to go down to good old F-18 because I like it and quickly go through mission editor so zoom in and out mouse wheel okay happy days to move the map around right click and hold and drag the map around we're gonna cruise on down here down towards batumi and we just go so right we've got f18 selected and we're just gonna left click on the map bam all right we've got an aircraft in the mission editor right now things you want to look for from this point on skill this is the next tab that we're gonna go through. So average, good, high, excellent, random. Any of those right there will spawn in, well, that this aircraft will be an AI control, okay? You won't be able to control it at all. So it's gonna be any of those. Average, good, high, excellent. So if you wanna like have uh, aircraft to fly against, you know, you can spawn them in and just check, choose their uh, skill level. But for us, we wanna use it to fly around and have a muck around, so client or player. Okay, that's the two that we're going to go for here. So on the player checkbox, okay, this will be more for a single player mission. So if you're just going to make a mission for you and you alone, you don't want to have any of your mates come in and uh, fly with you, just select player. If you want it to be a multiplayer compatible mission, make sure you select client for the aircraft. From there, last thing before you can have fun, we've got down here in our waypoint tag tab so the first one that will come up is the waypoint okay this route got different options here we're going to just focus on the first one which is default so type turning point so what that means if we were to come over here and click on fly mission which we'll do right now we're not going to save it start quickly run through loads up if you don't have dcs on a uh, ssd it's going to take a while to load up as well just a heads up all right so we've spawned in and we are at 6400 we spawned in 
happy days. So we're going to quit now, go back to the mission editor. All right, click back on the aircraft. So there we go, turning point. We spawned in at 6,562 feet, doing 350 knots. So if you want to spawn in, in the air, that's what you want, turning point. Okay, you can change your altitude, whatever you want, change your speed, whatever you want to do, okay? Go for it. So if you want to practice flying at altitude, doing a BVR, whatever, you can set yourself up a nice mission there. Uh, the next point, or next things you can do, flyover point is pretty much the same thing. Okay, it's just a, a waypoint or a spot in the air where you'll spawn. These three here, take off from ramp, take off from runway. Okay, so you're gonna spawn, it'll, it will, let's go here, just grab our little guy. Okay, so we're gonna move him over here. So when you select take off from runway, ramp, or parking hot, it's gonna drag your aircraft to the closest airfield and put them on the ground. Okay, so we're gonna go take off from runway and it's gonna go to Batumi because that's the closest one. So what that's gonna do now, we if we press the green fly mission, we'll spawn in on the runway, engines turning and burning, ready to take off. Okay, take off from runway. Next option, take off from ramp. Okay, it's gonna put you on a parking spot at the airfield and you're gonna be cold started, so your engine will not be running. If you wanna change your parking spot, so zero, one, zero, two, blah, 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 come down here and pick which whatever one you want. So if you wanna, for some reason, spawn on a exact parking spot because it's a nice view, whatever, that's what you can do. And then the other one, take off from parking hot, is the exact same thing, except when you spawn in, your aircraft will be already running. You don't have to start the engines up and all the rest of it. And that is pretty much it, boys and girls. That is how you spawn in an aircraft for yourself to fly around on the map. All right, take off from parking hot, take off from ramp, take off from runway, or you can go turning point, flyover point if you want to be in the air. That is it. Landing is more for uh, AI. Okay, for aircraft artificial intelligence, or if you can call it that. If you want to make them land at an airfield, you can choose landing when you're putting in waypoints and all the rest. But that's in a nutshell what you want to do. Hopefully that made sense, guys. And yeah, we'll continue on with the basic mission editing for dummies tutorials going forward. All right, catch us later.